I'm so sister J. I'm so sister D. And I just wanted to say thank you for all the people who helped to the medical fundraiser for my uncle Tariq. And it has been so much to us that you would help because without you guys, his life would not be possible and we would not be with him today right now. And I just wanted to say for all of you that helped and that donated, I would really would like to give a big thanks. And I hope that I can meet you one day and say thank you in person. I love you guys very much. We want to make sure that we're not just working to be first, but we're working to be right. A lot of times there are situations when things are just happening so fast. It's always important to be fast, but we always want to be right. I ordered this book, God is on Trial. I ordered this book from Amazon, and I must say I've read it. It's very well written, very thought-provoking. And so, sisters and brothers like Alberta Parish, again, God is on Trial. It is a provocative, thought-provoking, very real and honest point of view 
regarding the gods of major religions or of Abrahamic religions and why those of us who follow these belief systems should be asking the same kind of questions instead of just blindly accepting and following. Everybody who is black and interested in black people, let us sit down and find out how we can get together in one direction against one enemy and accomplish this job overnight. This is Dusty Basement Studios, and we approve of this message. Message. Hey, my brother, you know I had to call you and thank you personally again. I cannot describe to you how happy I was to meet you in person, Fido. That was just like amazing. Gomane, assemble the people, Gomane. We will not be defeated by witch doctor's illusions. <laughs> To ring out in perfect harmony, Terry Ellis becomes the first of the divas to offer the world her singular sound. And she does just that on Southern Gap.
What dear? Because I keeps it real like that. I keeps it real. Alrighty then, we're gonna we're gonna try this again. We're gonna try we're gonna try this again. I think I have enough time. I'm not gonna be disturbed. And I really don't want to do this video later because it's on my mind now. I just want to get off my chest. Actually, this is one of those videos that grinds my gears. Woo, man, if I wasn't holding this camera in my other hand, you know, I could, woo, this grinds my gears. Um, peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of what we call the Realities Tip on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the host, the gatekeeper of this program, known here on social media, wherever you may find me, I am known as the mighty, 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 uh. Angel snub nut. Let me let me double that. Uh 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 uh. <laughs> Triple. I am the mighty one. Angel snub nub seven. Your soul brother. Number one. Hey, let me make some hand signs. <laughs> you know these folks are. You're part of the Illuminati. So let me let me make some hand signs for these people. <laughs> These people are so silly. I don't know nothing about Illu no Illuminati. I don't know nothing about masonry. I don't know nothing about that. The only thing I know is that I can't help it. But when you talk, you know, you 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 gesture with your hands. You try to describe things as you talk with your hands. I mean, that's just that's just something that folks do when they talk. They talk with their hands. But uh, we got so many silly folks. That what grabs my gears. I just made a video talking about that these black conscious, Afrocentric, blackity black teachings, this mindset is the second mental death as far as the descendants of slaves born in America. Not American. Don't get it confused. I'm not an ADOS. I'm just DOS. Descendant of slaves born in America. And I also have to add, with dark skin, but these dark skinned persons who are descendants of slaves come in all hues from the very light all the way to the very dark. But I had to add the with dark skin because you have Irish Caucasians, Irish pink people, and some others who want to claim 
there was white slaves. There were no white slaves. They were indentured servants. But they want to try to claim slavery. And they damn sure don't give a damn about reparations. But just in case the Negroes get reparations, I'm a slave too. I'm Irish. I'm German or whatever. I was, I was a slave too. So you don't have nothing to do with us. You're not going to get reparations because of what we do. All our work is for those who are descendants of slaves having dark skin. Or you could say with Native American or African or other dark skinned people that we know of background. And the Irish and your German or your Caucasian, you can't claim that. So piss off. <laughs> Folks always want to try to ride our back. Ain't you getting enough from the civil rights struggle? All these other suckers leeching off what our ancestors did, their sacrifice, their death, and their suffering, and they benefit from the civil rights struggle, and then turn around. <laughs> hey, how you doing now, Osiris? And then they turn around and have the nerve to make mockery of us. You better get the heck out of here, for real. Now, before I got disturbed, when I was just getting ready to do this video, last time, just a few minutes ago, I was talking about how we don't take things for granted. And we don't. Be happy. Be happy if you wanna, if you wanna be alive. Be happy that you can breathe properly. There are people who need real oxygen in order to live. Be happy that you can think a little bit. <laughs> the so-called Negro, we don't think enough. We don't use our brains enough. We always looking for somebody to do our thinking for us. That's a, that's a, that's a dang shame. We don't want, and we don't like the Massa, we don't like white folks to be Massa, so we want to find a Negro slave master. I'm not into that. If you want to serve somebody, if you want to praise somebody and all like that, please go to another channel. I don't do that. I don't serve nobody. I'm not looking for a slave master. I just want to live my life to the best that I can do. I don't want to serve nobody. My ancestors were slaves uh, hundreds of years and that slavery thing, that servant thing, it just ain't kicking with me. I don't want to serve white folks, pink people. I don't want to serve Negroes. I don't want to serve God. I don't want to serve an alien. I don't want to serve nobody. I would rather be dead. I'm not serving nobody. So if y'all want to serve somebody and praise somebody and look for divine and special people, this is the wrong place to be because I don't do that. All of us are special. All of us are divine as far as I'm concerned. I'm not better than you, you're not better than me. Live your life the best way, the happiest way that you can, as long as you're not messing with other folks. And that's cool, that's what we represent here. Not trying to force nothing on nobody. The only thing I can do is suggest that you do this, suggest that you do that, give advice, and if you want to take the advice, that's cool. If, if you if, if you if you accept the advice, that's cool. But you know, we can get along. We need to learn how to get along with people when they are different. I don't want you to be like me. Believe me, I do not want a, a whole bunch of angel snubbing up sevens running around. I don't. Be very boring world. Cause because having a bunch of angel snubbing up sevens mean I already know what I'm gonna talk about. I already know what I like. I already know what I'm going to do. That's very, very boring. Can you imagine living in a world, all the animals was the same, all the birds was the same, all the insects was the same? Oh, boy, I don't want to be part of that. But that's what most of these folks, that's what they advocate. Everybody is the same, doing the same thing, eating, thinking the same, eating the same foods, whatever. Ah, I'm not into that. Boring world. Now, Let's get to our topic before I get disturbed again. Thank you. Y'all not y'all are not allowing me to be by myself this morning. Thank you so much for those in the chat room. Thanks for all those who are listening. And man, I wish I could be on Facebook. 
But unfortunately, coming from your telephone, I don't know how to simulcast Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Anyway, woo, this is something that grinds my gears. There are people who don't like Angel Snub Nub 7. And one of the reasons why they don't like Angel Snub Nub 7 is because they said, man, man, oh, this hat is too hot. They said, man, you are too negative. What you mean by that? Man, you too negative. Oh, you want me to lie. That's what you want. You want me to be like some of these other folks and give you fairy tale stories so you can feel good. That's what you want. Well, if that's what you want, like I say, this is the reality's temple. This is where reality lives. You want fantasy stories and feel good stuff, then you need to kick rocks and go somewhere else because I don't do that. Because I'm not a liar. Hey, what's up there, Scott? I'm not a liar. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to lie to you. Truth hurts. I would rather we hurt but be told the truth. I'm not into telling lies and fantasy. I'm not here to promote false hopes and dreams. I do want to give you hope. I, believe me, I want to give us hope, but not false hope. I do want to make you a promise, but not false promises. I'm not going to guide you or direct you to a fantasy world that don't exist until after you die or some alien come out the sky or, or whatever or, or some history 76 trillion years ago that you can't prove things that I'm not going to do that if that's what you want you got to go somewhere else I got to keep it real <laughs> you understand what I'm saying to you I just got to keep it real so if you don't want to keep it real then you need to kick rocks adios amigos hasta luego saranada all that it's all good I will still be your brother. You don't like me, but I cannot, I cannot give you the Black Panther fantasy world that you're looking for. It's not going to happen. Now, let me make these points real quick. <clears throat> the title of this video, False Claims That Black People... <laughs> False Claims That Black People Own the Earth. Are you kidding me? You hear, you hear people and you see folks write this on social media that black people own the earth. You know, prior to the Europeans, <laughs> thank you, Scott. Hey, look, prior to the Europeans, the black man owned the earth. Let me tell y'all something. Let's, let's make this perfectly clear. There was no such thing as a black man until slavery created the black man. There were no dark-skinned people on this planet that called themselves black or Negro or colored or even African. These did not exist until the European came and conquered these dark-skinned people. There were no black people that owned the earth. And let me tell you something else. Nobody can own the earth. The only thing you can do is claim a little bit of something for a certain period of time. That's it. You cannot own the earth. And then you call yourself owning the earth. You can only own the earth until the time somebody bigger and stronger than you kick your backside and take it from you. So now you no longer own it. So let's say, for instance, if the black man owned the earth, this guy that came from out of a cave came, whooped your backside, and took it. You no longer own it. So how can you sit around here and talk about black people own the earth? You got your butt whooped, and somebody else owned the earth now. The only way you can own the earth is you got to kick his butt and take it back. 
But y'all too scared for that. The only thing you can do is write Facebook posts and run your damn mouth. You don't have the heart. You're not brave enough to take nothing. The only thing you own is that ass whooping this Pecklewood gave you and still give you every damn day. That's the only thing you own. You are a bunch of cowards. The best thing that you can do is run your damn mouth and talk all this metaphysical science fantasy stuff. That's the only thing that you can do. You don't like what I'm saying? Bye bye. Adios. That's reality. You want to prove something to me? Prove something to yourself? Then take it back. I own the earth. You don't own nothing. If you want to go anywhere, you better get your passport from this white man. You don't get a passport from this white man, you're going to be, you're going to have some trouble. But you own the earth. Ancient people, early human beings, did not try to own the earth. Most of them was nomads. They went from this place to another place, according to the seasons or whatever, so they can look for food and things of that nature. Nobody was running around trying to own nothing. Trying to own the earth is unnatural. There's no animal, there's no bird, there's no insects trying to own the damn earth. The only thing you can do is use some of it so that you can get your water and your food or whatever that you need to survive, and that's it. If you own the earth, hey, I, I want to talk to the white folks, to the Caucasian people. If the white man or you own the earth or whatever the hell you call yourself owning, then you explain to me when a tornado or earthquake or some disaster come and wipe it all out and take it from you and kill you and make you go extinct do you still own the earth when you no longer exist the earth has been here for billions and billions of years who knows what kind of life been on this planet we don't know what's at the very bottom of the sea that could have been here. We don't know nothing about that. We have many deserts on this planet. We don't know what kind of civilizations and people have been on this planet that's buried deep in the sands in the desert. We don't know. Nobody owns nothing here. And when you get arrogant like that, this planet is gonna show you what you really own. You don't own nothing. All this nonsense. The black man owns the sun, the universe. Dude, y'all folks, many of you don't even own your house. You still paying a mortgage. How you gonna own, own the earth? Get real. Who you think you talking to? Get real. They own the earth. Some feel good. You might, and then look, people who said this have the nerve to talk about Christians. You know better than a Christian. You, you believe in fantasy and fiction and that belief stuff. Just You might as well believe in pink Jesus. What difference do it make? You own the earth. God owns the earth. Who gave you the title? Since you own the earth, who gave you the title? How do you own it? The whole thing don't make any sense. Feel good rhetoric. You are slave. Our people were slaves. D-O-S. Descendants of slaves. You ain't own nothing. You didn't even own yourself. Another man own you. All of a sudden, you own the earth. Get real. Get out, get out of here. Nonsense. Feel good. I'm not into that. I'm grown. I'm an adult. Don't bring me them Disneyland fairy tale stories to me. Get out of here. I'm not into that. You gonna keep it real? Or you leave me the hell alone. I'm not into that. Just can't do it. Now, they say they are the original man. Get the hell out of here. The original people, even according to science, probably was real dark skin, dark skin for real people. 
way darker than me. Dark skinned people, the original people. And you have these DOS, descendants of slaves, born in America, who did not originate, have no origins in Africa at all, which is, which is supposed to be the motherland, the, the birthplace of humanity. We know you wasn't born there. So how the hell are you the original man? The Negro in America, your skin is from the very light to the very dark. Your features are different. Some of us have kinky hair. Some of us have curly, so almost straight type hair. Big noses, thin, thin noses, big lips, thin lips. You know, we look, we have all kinds of looks. That's not the look of the original man. Impossible. Matter of fact, the original people, when it comes down to it, probably they don't even exist no more. The original people. So you are not. How are you going to be the original man when we've been here in America raped for 400 years and we voluntarily mix our blood with other people? How the hell are you going to claim to be original anything? You are Oreo cookie, black on the outside, white on the inside, and just a, a mess. A genetic mess. Even some of y'all who believe in that DNA stuff, you are not pure nothing. You're not pure nothing. You're 50% this, 3% that, 2% that. So how the hell are you original? More fairy tale garbage. Feel good, you are not the original man. And if you are a light skinned brother and sister, you dang sure not the original. The original people were dark, dark skinned people. So how are you gonna claim to be the original man, the black man? You ain't black. You high yellow, you brown. Some of y'all probably look almost white. Some of you don't, don't even have kinky hair. It's all messed up. You're not original nothing. There's nothing original about you. I'm sorry to bust your bubble. You don't like it. Kick rocks. Get the hell out of here. But sooner or later, you can run from the truth, but you can't run forever. Sooner or later, you're going to have to deal with somebody like me. That's going to mess up your, your dreams and your fantasy. You are grown. You should be shaming yourself involved in these old fairy tale stories it's one more point what did i say oh yeah my last point that i want to make on this video um they say these same lost and confused blackity black negroes they want to say that the black man ruled the earth well, like I told you, the black man was not created until American slavery. This black man in America. Slavery created the black man. Prior to, prior to races again. And I could, look, let me tell you something. I could be wrong. I'm not the kind of person that's a know-it-all. I could be wrong. But to my knowledge, no dark-skinned persons no dark-skinned people or nation called themselves black, African, colored, or Negro. Black was, was created by slavery because we are the products of slavery. And just like any domesticated animal, your masa name you. Just like they named the sheep and the goats and the different breeds of cows and pigs and chickens, he named us. And he named us black, he named us Negro, and he named us colored. This did not exist until slavery. Prove me wrong. Show me, since y'all history buffs, show me the Negro, colored, or black outside of the white man in America. Show it to me. And I shut up. And I give you your props. You're not going to be able to do it. You don't tell me the black man ruled the earth. There was a time 
when dark skinned people prior to Europeans, there was a time when dark skinned people ruled the earth. But you're taking that out of context. They did not rule the earth. They were in their tribes and their families doing their thing. They was not trying to rule the earth. That's something that you want to do because you copy the same mindset like your slave master. Ain't nobody trying to rule a damn thing. I'm just trying to eat. I'm trying to drink. I'm just trying to survive in this world in my family, my tribe, or my nation. I'm not trying to rule the earth. However, that mindset did come among the dark-skinned people, and that's exactly what they was trying to do. That's where the peck of wood got it from, ruling the earth. But that was not the intent, and the original people did not think like that. But now, as far as the black man is concerned, you ain't never ruled nothing. Never. We are the descendants of slaves. We always be, we always been ruled over by this peck of wood, and you still ruled over by this Caucasian demon right now to this day. You ain't never ruled. Talk about we ruled. What you mean we? Negro, when did you rule anything? You ain't never ruled nothing. You don't even run your neighborhood. You don't control nothing. And here we are. We have a plan. We have an idea and concept called Operation Exodus Mississippi that can actually put you in a position where you can control something for the first time in real time. And you reject it. You still keep doing the same old dumb ass stuff. Let's beg for reparations. Let's make a business. Let's get some education. Let's vote. The same dumb stuff over. Let's march. Let's protest. Keep doing the same stuff over and over again that has gotten us nowhere. No power to rule nobody. The only thing you know how to do is, is latch on to the crumbs somebody else dropped. That's all you know how to do. So that's why, that's why you caught up in these fantasy stuff. The black man ruled the world. The black people own the earth. You the original people. All that fantasy stuff to make yourself feel good. Might as well go back to church. And hoop and holler. Some of y'all, I don't see some of these black power folks look like they get the Holy Ghost. Black power. Black power. Woo. Black power family. They just be hooping and hollering and jumping around. I'm like, damn. A black power Holy Ghost guy. <laughs> Man, I don't mean to laugh. If you don't laugh, it'll make you cry. We so silly. We are so lost. You know, I was taught in the nation of Islam, the cracker called us Negro. N-E-G-R-O. If you take the G and replace it with a C or a K, you get necro. And necro is the prefix for necrology. Necro means dead. And we are dead. We're some dead folks. Not only were we dead because we were the descendants of slaves born in America, but now you have died for the second time because you embraced these fantasy fabricated Black conscious, black teaching, black first, blackly black garbage, which the origins of this stuff still come from your slave master. Somebody told me it come from Africa. You are lie. A slave don't know nothing about no Africa. The white man told you that. Everything about us came from our masa. It either it either came from the masa or some foreign person. It did not come from. Hey, you get angry at me if you want. I don't care. You can hate me if you want. Get in line. <laughs> oh, hey, get in line. But see, this is the thing about it. You can holler. You can scream. And talk about that's a lie. Somebody, somebody called me a liar yesterday. Why should I lie to you? 
Now, I can be mistaken, but I don't need to lie to you. When people lie, usually there's a benefit to telling a lie. How does lying to you benefit me? I'm not asking you to give me no money. Not yet. But I'm not asking you to give me a dime. In fact, this channel, I gave away money. I'm not asking you to donate to my Patreon account. I'm not asking you to pay my internet bill. I'm not asking nothing of you. Except you listen and seek the truth. I ask you to help us in getting some real power in the Mississippi campaign. I do ask you that. Why should I lie to you? There's no reason to lie. You grown. You are adults. And you still believe in invisible beings and this Mickey Mouse stuff. I can't do it. This is the wrong place to be. If you want me to cuddle you and hold your little hair and tell you how great. Look, I'm going to say this and I'm going to be Audi 5000. We want to be gods. We want to be goddess. We want to be kings and queens. And we want to rule the earth. And all this stuff. And don't have to do nothing. Except lay your, your lazy ass. And read books. Play on Facebook. And play on YouTube. You don't want to do no work. You don't want to sacrifice. You don't want to suffer. You don't want to die. You don't want to fight. You don't want to do a damn thing. But you want all this praise. Because you black. You think people gonna respect you cause you cry. Give me reparation. Give me, give me, give me like the beggar you are. Nobody is gonna respect us in the condition that we're in. You're not a man. You're not a woman. Always begging for stuff. And you doing these little, little tiny things that ain't that's not gonna amount to nothing we need something really big so that when we punch they can feel it and the Mississippi campaign is the only thing that can get the job done but in order for the Mississippi campaign to work you got to have unity and this nigga trash is not is not interested in unity so I'm gonna start talking about all these pieces of trash I'm going to talk about all of them because they're not interested in unity anyway. They are not your friend. All these blackity black, black conscious first black, they looking for slaves. They want to live. They think like racists. They want to be like racists because they are children of racists. They are not your friends. They are the enemy. And I'm going to treat them like an enemy. I'm going to talk about them. So don't come here talk about we should be brothers. They ain't no damn brothers. They're not looking for no brotherhood. They looking for slaves, they want praise, they want your money. If they men, they want your panties, sisters. These guys want to disagree between your legs, they don't give a damn about you. I don't do that here. I want you free, I want you happy, and I want us respected in America and around this earth. When we get our act together, the whole planet will follow our lead. And even in our ignorance, even in our ignorance, you see these folks admire us. They like our swag. They like how we do things. So can you imagine what they're going to do when we come in our right state of mind and become what you say God and goddess and kings and queens and rulers. But don't rule like the ones that have done it. Rule, rule in a fair manner. Rule, give everybody freedom, justice, and equality. Make humanity happy. All this war and rape and pedophilia, stealing, lying, and cheating. Y'all should be sick of it. I know I am. And for us, it's, we're damaged goods. To all of you that's under the sound of my voice, I know you don't, you, you don't like it, but we're damaged goods. But you can use your life, I can use my life, sacrifice my life, so, yeah, we're, we're damaged goods. But we can sacrifice our lives, 
We can suffer. We can be like that Jesus the Christians talk about. We can put, we can be crucified and put our sacrifice, our life, and die on the cross so that our babies, our children can live and they don't have to go through what we've been through. The knowledge is here. We have everything that we need in order to pull this off. The only problem is we have died a second time. We're sick. We're messed up. But if we can come up out of the grave for the second time, we can get this job done. And you'll be so proud of yourself. And you don't have to brag about ancient Kemet. You don't have to brag about Timbuktu. You don't have to brag about somebody ruled the earth 76 trillion years ago. You can brag about what you did right now while we live. Instead of bragging about what somebody else did. I want to brag about what I've done with my own hands, with the thoughts coming from my brain. That's what I want to do. I want, I want my people, the children, to be proud of me. Not what somebody did that don't long, no longer exists from 5,000 years ago. I'm not into that. I'm not going to talk about what happened 5,000 years. That's nice. That's nice to know history. It's nice. But I'm just not into that. Say that for the classroom. The Realities Temple on Earth represents liberation from a racist oppressor once and for all. And your God, if you say you believe in God, God has given us the answer to get the job done by giving us and revealing to us Operation Exodus Mississippi. Like Elijah Muhammad said, take it or let it alone. If you let it alone, you're going to have a, you got a, a heavy price to pay. Believe this. <laughs> With that said, uh, if anybody have any questions or you want to see, a, uh, you want to write a comment and we can talk about it real quick, we can do that. I'll wait a few seconds or whatever. But uh, yeah, I just wanted, to, hey, like I said, that this whole thing grinds my gears. I wanted to get that off my shoulder because it's really pissing me off. I'm tired of hearing these damn lies. You are not the original man. You don't, you haven't, you don't, you never ruled the earth. You don't own the planet. Okay? All that fantasy garbage. I can't take it. I, I, I don't, you know, it's, I'm not going to lie to you. Truth hurts. But I'd rather hurt than embrace this, these lies and this fantasy stuff. I'm not into that. I'm grown. Tricks is for kids. That's Mickey Mouse stuff. Not into that. With that said, y'all, I hope that you uh, enjoyed what I had to say these few words. I really enjoyed your company. Uh, share this video. Tell people about the Mississippi campaign. And uh, I'm going to be Audi 5000, as Don Cornelius always say, as important. I wish us love. Peace. Until next time, y'all. So. Rocky three. Put the on my first. There we go. I don't have a lot to say. Come to see Terry.
That's Terry, Cindy, and Rona. I trust that feeling. Does anybody have any questions of me before I get out of here? Let's see what you guys are saying. What's up, Soul Sister Rona? Hey, Talik. I'm the brother that did my uh, Mike Jackson in Tunica, Mississippi. Hey, now. Uh, hello to Terry. Respect. Bless up. Bless up. Bless up. Come to see Terry. That's Terry, Cindy, and Rona. It's Terry. It's important for the black youth especially to know that that we did have a history and that we did great things and that we had great people and those things were not in the history books when I was in school. And um, what I'd like to be doing five years from now is attempting to rewrite the history books so that they'll know that. Thank you. 